In this video, I'm gonna be giving this golf interior a really deep green. I will be using the help of some chemicals that have been sent as well to get my honest opinions on. Now, as is probably quite evident from the intro shots, one of the functions of this car is to transport the owner's dog to get to some nice long countryside walks. However, unfortunately, that has led to the interior getting in a pretty bad way. Now the first thing that I did on this car was vacuum up as much of the loose debris as possible which was made up of a combination of dried mud, sand and pet hair so a lovely combination. In order to remove the debris that was really lodged into the carpets, I went in with the drill brush attachment to kind of lift up as much of that as possible and then repeated the vacuum process. This did take a few goes on some areas that were particularly dirty and I have seen a few different approaches that you can take to this. I know a popular approach is to use a tornado attachment on an air compressor, which looks really effective and probably could have done with that here. There was a lot of mud particularly on the back seats and on the armrest between the front seats as apparently the dog does like to climb on that area when they immediately get into the car. So I didn't want to agitate that immediately with the fear of pushing that mud further into the fabric. So I did pre-soak them with a 1 to 5 mixture of ODK's Encore interior cleaner and then used the vax to remove as much mud as possible before agitating the fabrics. Once I'd done this on a few areas, I then went in with a drill brush and repeated that process of agitating and then extracting. When I was happy that the foam that was being extracted was clean, I then repeated the process, but rather than using the cleaner, used water instead to pull as much of the chemical out of the seats as possible. Whilst the fabric seats were drying out, I then moved on to the mats. I first vacuumed up as much of the debris as possible and then used the drill brush attachment that you saw me use on the interior carpets and a pet hair removal block, followed up with a second vacuum to get them as clean as possible. I find that the easiest way to clean mats that are this dirty is to actually rinse them down with a pressure washer and then go in with the cleaner which is the same one that I used on the seats, agitate with a drill brush and then rinse all that out. This isn't the something that I do on every single fabric mat but I do find it quite effective when the mats are particularly dirty.
Once I was happy with how clean the mats were, I then used the vacs again to extract as much water as possible to make sure that they dried out pretty quickly. The next thing that I did here was clean the steering wheel and I used the leather repair company LRC1 Cleaner to do this. This managed to easily remove that sticky feeling and slightly shiny appearance on the steering wheel in a single hit. Now onto the interior plastics and I again used ODK Encore at 1 to 5 just in a spray bottle this time and I agitated that using a few different detailing brushes and my interior scrub pads which I find really really useful on larger areas. I really do enjoy using this interior cleaner as it's very economical and also has a very nice fresh scent. It also does have biocides as well to help kill some of the germs inside the car. On the pedals I sprayed the interior cleaner and actually just agitated it using a toothbrush as I find that this is quite an ergonomic option. Once I'd done cleaning them I rinsed them through with clean water in order to remove all that chemical and mud. On the infotainment screen and the interior glass I went for Wax Junkies glass cleaner this did a great job at leaving a streak free finish and also does have a little bit of an anti-fogging effect built in so it's a really good option for interior glass in particular. In order to dress the interior plastics, I went for ODK's cabin interior dressing. This again has a really nice fresh scent, so there was no need to go in with a separate air freshener here. In terms of the finish it leaves, it's very natural and it has slight darkening effects but doesn't leave any kind of shiny or greasy finish at all. And it does have anti-static properties to stop the interior getting quite as dusty as quickly. 